Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and first of all, before I'm going to start updating you guys about anything, I would like to say thank you to all of you guys who've been so supportive. I read all of the comments and I'm extremely grateful and sometimes when I feel down, when I look at all of your message, it makes me feel a lot better. So, okay, where should I start? Let's just say that for the past two months, it was kind of hell for me. So let's go back to the surgery. Like I told you guys, I have to go under my lips and on my cheek area. And right now I have um, a very visible scar, but thanks to makeup and the lighting right now that it helps my scar look a little bit less visible. But if you guys see me up close or in real life, it's visible. And the reason why it takes time for me to come back and film a tutorial or videos again, it's because of this scar. It was really tough to wake up every day and then just pray that it will be gone, but let's get real here. It's not gonna be gone within one or two weeks or even months. It's probably take more than like six months for it to really heal. So that's what my doctor told me. I don't really have that much issue with the scar because I, I don't mind the scar that much, but the things that gets to me or bugs me a lot is when I smile, I suddenly have like a weird bump like a smile line around my scar and uh, it was really bad for me. I became insecure and even though there's so many people telling me that it's not that visible, you're thinking too much, but if it happens to you or if some of you girls who've gone through something similar to me, you guys will know that it's tough on the person, like you are your worst nightmare, like you're the worst critic. And every time when I look at myself, I hated myself and it was really tough for me. I'm not the bravest person and to be honest with you guys, I'm always insecure and it might sound silly like oh my god you're thinking too much, like you're not ugly, everything is fine. Like I know that but um, I'm always insecure especially when I was young, um, I'll show you the picture right here, I was quite chubby and um, back then people always teased me and I felt extremely bad. But instead of trying to lose weight, I just stuff myself with more bricks. Like, just keep eating to feel better about myself. But after I realized that I was hurting myself so much, I stopped eating in an unhealthy way and just lost some weight in a healthy way. After that, I thought that I was a stronger person, that I don't have any insecure left, and I was fine the way I am until this thing happens and suddenly all the bad memories about how I looked and how I feel about myself just come back to me and I don't know how to handle it. I became so defensive, like I don't want people to look at me, I don't go out at all for the past month. Like, and the fact that my head just keep tricking me, like suddenly I thought that if I have scar on my face and all the defects on my face, who would want to watch my tutorials? I'm not suitable to do this anymore. And I know I'm being dramatic right now, but um, that's how I felt. Until recently, I reminded myself that everything's going to be okay and it's okay if the scar will stay permanently or the weird smile line will stay. You just have to move on or else I'm just gonna sit inside my room and never show my face to other human beings. <laughs> now that I got over it, it sounds extremely silly. And the reason why I'm telling you guys about my insecurity is because I know girls tend to have insecurities and it's fine but just learn how to control it or just let it all go. Because if you don't, you would never truly love yourself and that's not okay. Now that the heavy stuff is lift off my chest, so let's move on. The second thing that bugs the hell out of me is my hair. Okay, this is an illusion. Are you guys ready? One, two, three. So yeah, um... It all started two weeks ago when I was looking for my scissors to cut my hair and I couldn't find it so I went out with my friends and I was asking her where could I get a scissors and she was being lazy so she told me wouldn't you just go to the hair salon so I asked her where's her favorite hair salon and she took me there but unfortunately her favorite hairdresser wasn't there and I couldn't be bothered so I just said it's okay just give me a random person because I already googled what kind of hairstyle I like so I can show it to that person so she was like oh okay and she was an old lady she looked a little bit grumpy and I told her I want exactly like this can you do it and she was kind of annoyed at me and she's like yes of course like it's so easy just make it shorter and for some weird reason I trusted her so now I got this I have to live with this I know the hairstyle is not that bad I think it suits other people better than it suits me so I was kind of sad about it and the hair is not even I don't know why that she cut it like this 
And the downfall of it is I can't curl my hair that much anymore. So yeah. Anyways, that's all I want to update you guys about. And if you have any suggestions, makeup, hair tutorials, please let me know so I can get back to you guys. So I'll see you guys next week. Bye!